Well, hello everyone. Hello and welcome to Silicon Valley girls that love to chat over tea. Yes, and my name is Rosetta Chow. And I am Gloria Webb Williams. And it's great to have you tuning in today. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Hi, Gloria. Hi. Yeah. So what did you um, think about the tea that we're drinking today? Well, let's see. Let's see what it is for us. Okay. It is the Earl Grey tea. It's a French brand. Yes. It's called uh, Daman. Yes. I'm trying to say it in the French way daman and it's got bergamot and it's all gray yeah so we're going to go ahead and give it a little try we've yes. had our tea bags seeping here so yes. hopefully it's not too too bitter right. i like to keep my tea bags in the the cup because i'm kind of the kind of person that likes to have strong teas that's we'll right and the longer side. it's in there the stronger it becomes all right cheers, cheers. full-bodied I don't taste the bergamot though. No, um, the ingredients of this wonderful tea is black tea uh, and white tea caps, or white tea tips, the actual uh, tips. And it has bergamot essential oil and flower petals. I can taste the black tea. Yeah, that's what I. The can black taste. tea is very the good and very comes strong. Across. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. If I have to be honest, I would like it to have a bit more Earl Grey flavor. True. So I'm going to put my little top back on and let's see if I let I it steep just, a little bit more. Well, I might, I don't know if I'll, you might stop I might it. just top it and take it out because it's a bit go. strong. It's too black Already for you. Yes. <laughs> Even though I like to keep it in. There you go. <laughs> so what did you end up doing 4th of July? Well, 4th of July, what did I do? I did nothing. <laughs> well, that's different. <laughs> well, actually, I, we had planned, like we said in our right. last week's um you know, YouTube Talk. video that I may be going to Almaden Lake and watching right. the fireworks and hanging out with friends. Right. But my husband got sick. Aww. So we ended up not doing anything. He was, he started being sick the day prior. Right. So I thought, okay, we'll just, you know, see how it goes. And the next day, we weren't going to meet our friends till the evening time, like 5, 5.30ish five oh, okay. and then go for dinner because they have food trucks there and then hang out and watch the fireworks and there's nice. a band. Nice. But as the day progressed, he goes, I don't feel like going. Oh, okay. So we just cancelled it, but it was fine. Yeah, just kind of. Yeah, we were at home. home. We cooked dinner at home as a family. I went out with my son during the day. Yes. Spent time with him, nice. which was nice because I don't get that that often. He's a yes. teenager, 15 mm. years old, so he doesn't like to hang out with his mom. Mm. So it was hard for me to get him out. Wow. But I did, and I treasure every moment. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Those are the most precious times. I tell moms. You know, like when your child will let you hug them or kiss them, you know, or like if you're watching a movie or something and they snuggle, live for those moments because there will be a time when it'll be, uh -uh. Well, he doesn't uh -uh. snuggle with me, but he does allow me to touch him and to put my arm around him, yes. which is nice. Excellent. So what did you do for 4th of July? Um, my uh, husband and I, we went to um, my uh, sister's house, and her husband is the barbecue man. I mean, oh, I a barbecue. friend of his took a um, sort of, if you could imagine, the the um, the back of a pickup truck. Uh -huh. And what they did is they framed it and made it into a barbecue pit. And it has wheels so you can roll the meat up if it gets too hot or roll it down. Well, that is a professional because you only see that at those like, barbecue competitions. They go all out and they yes. remodel different transportation modes of yes. transportation into barbecue grills and, and what is it, the smokers and things? Yeah, so. Wow, so he so, must be a real diehard oh barbecue. Oh my God, he, he loves barbecuing and um, to him it's all about the bite. So when you go somewhere and you bite, um, say a rib, and it shows the teeth marks and it's tender, it pulls away, but it doesn't fall apart, that is an excellent, so. Oh, that's excellent. That's yes. the best, perfect, because yes. I like it when I can pull it away, but it doesn't fall off. Absolutely. So we spent um, family time, you know, just kind of like you, kind of relaxing, taking it easy. I thought it was very interesting. They said, you know, we are going to clamp down. We are not going to allow people to um, shoot off uh, oh. unauthorized fireworks. Sure. So my sister's house is over near uh, East Ridge Shopping Center. So we were in that area and, you know, it was like, boom. So my husband, he goes, okay, let's go home. So we left there and we get home and I live in Fremont 
right next door is Union City. Union City, you can fire fireworks. Oh, really? Yes. Did not know Fremont, that. Fremont, you cannot. Oh, okay. So it's like across up a street. Yes. So these fireworks are going up. Um, there's a school, Logan High School, and they do an amazing, you know, fireworks display every year. So that part was really cool. Well, they're usually done, you know, like say 9.30ish. So 10 o'clock, boom, boom, 11, boom, boom. My husband, he's like, I got to go to sleep. And he can go to sleep, but I'm hearing the boom, boom. Oh, that's annoying. So, you know, that And then part, how did your dog take that? Um, She did not like it. Mm. She did not like it at all. And I saw now, I saw they have uh, little earmuffs and things oh, for pets. How cute. So, you know, I told my husband, I said, you know, next year we have to get Miss Daisy some some earmuffs oh, and things like how that. Cute. It was, cute. you know, it was luckily, even though we had fireworks and they were unauthorized fireworks, everything was cool. And then I woke up the next day and homes actually caught on fire and burnt down. And really? Saturday. Yes. Shoot. These, these fireworks are just, I mean, I understand wanting to have fun. It's just, you have to be so People careful. never learn. Right. I hear that all the time. Last year I heard some Vietnamese family were doing it in their backyard and it didn't go up properly, shoot up properly, so it landed on the roof. Or it landed on some lady's, kind of like skimmed her hair and it caught right. on fire, her hair caught on fire. Yeah, it's I'm very like, scary. Really, people? And I don't know what what has happened because when I was a kid, we because they said not even sparklers, we could have sparklers and you could put your hands. They didn't burn, they were just, I mean, they didn't burn. Now, well, even the sparklers the will ignite to the point that they can burn you. So everyone should just learn a lesson. Yeah. Let's be a little bit more careful. Okay, before we go on. Yes. This is a little surprise. Yes. Yesterday, I went to interview someone. Okay. And you know who it is. I do. So do you remember we went to the school business event? Yes. A couple months ago, there was a lady and she was making her own nuts. Remember yes. the nut lady? Oh, of course I remember I her. I went to her house and interviewed her in San Mateo. <gasps> nice. And guess what I have for you? Some nuts. <gasps> oh my God. I purchased the, some nuts. The nuts. There is this amazing. lady yes. called Cirilla. Yes. She's from Thailand. She has a company called Nuts Plus Nuts. Yes. She makes her own cashew nuts. Well, yes. she sources the cashew nuts. Her sister it lives in Thailand right. and she is the cook and okay. puts all the flavors together. And they come up with these amazing, like different flavors. Yes. The most recent one Cirilla came up with is almonds. And she Ooh. sources them from California. Nice. Yes. Nice. So, and it's rosemary something. However, the problem was she did not have them in packs to sell. Right. They were just new. So when she goes to trade shows, she can only sample them. Right. So those are her new nuts. But wow. I have some nuts for you. So I'm going to open this bag up. What do we have? Oh, wow. So I have one that's called lightly salted. Nice. And you know what's weird? I was, so I asked her because she has another one called sweet and salty. Right. And when you think of sweet and salty, what do you think of? Well, I always think of, you know, like when you're out at places and they have that popcorn yes. and it's sweet and salty. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So yes. she let me try her sweet and salty. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Had a hint of sweetness and it tasted of garlic. Because she had wow. garlic in there, and I, but it was a hint of sweetness. And I said, "Well, I don't know if my friend Gloria likes too much sweet stuff because right. I don't like that much sweet stuff." Yeah. So she said, "Well, get her this because this tastes like the sweet and salty without the sweetness in it." Nice. So her ingredients are cashews, coconut oil, garlic, and sea salt. Nice. So lightly salted. Nice. And then the other one, I don't know if you like spicy but I got you the chili lime leaves oh nice I can mix them together the chili lime leaves and the ingredient one of them is lime leaves and she said that they come from Indonesia and some of them come from her backyard so it's really homegrown oh that is wonderful so thank there you. you go my friend thank you my dear this special delivery to you all the way from San Mateo <laughs> this is lovely I'm glad you got to connect with her because when we met her at SCORE um, because of the event, you're not allowed to sell anything. And so she had little bowls all around and they would go from lightest flavoring all the way up to, you know, very spicy, like the chili. Yes. And people were 
you know, they would take a couple and they leave and they come back and they take a couple more. And they kept saying to her, why can't you sell? Can't yeah. you go outside and sell me a bag? You know, it was yeah. just really So she didn't know. Cute. So I got you these two because the other two, the other Thank one was you. a coconut one. I didn't like, that was a bit sweet. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, it was okay, but having right. too much is too much. Right. And then there's the honey sesame. And then there's the one like this, the lightly salted, but right. it's got a hint of sweetness. So oh, I'm like, okay. better be on the safe side and get you this Yes, instead. well, thank you very much, because I am a, a sweet sensitivity person, so I'm always conscious. Yeah, yeah me and too. And I have found, uh, for me, of late, I even had, I had a Coke. Oh, you, oh my God, I know. You know, the little bitty can at the barbecue. And I thought, mm, I don't know. And my sister, she's like, it's... Um, she goes, you're always talking about cane sugar, and it's sweetened with cane sugar. It is sweetened with cane sugar, yes, and you're so right. And so I, I learned something new. She told me that whenever you see a Coke in a bottle, yes, those are typically from Mexico, and all of their products are sweetened with cane sugar. Oh, I okay. did not know did that. Did not know that. Something new. Did not new. know that. So it's and because you know when i was a kid i used to chew sugar cane all yeah. day long never had a problem yeah i did as well yeah, yeah so that's just fyi so i told her i said i'm gonna have to you know check it out um i don't know where where do you go Cause maybe mexican markets maybe they have like chavez supermarket they yes. have uh, it used to be called mi pueblo but they changed it yes like something. carnitas or or Carn something, Carnia, like, yes. something like yes. that so yeah. you might want to check out those yeah. or even the mini ones in campbell we have a mini uh, lost whatever lost cutos or something oh, okay. they may have it there yeah because um she was saying that because uh, i always see when we're at her house um and what i love is her husband is um he speaks fluent spanish but you don't know that because you look at him and he's got sandy brown hair and blue eyes so we love it because we'll go somewhere and people will start talking yeah. and he'll go bah, 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 right back at them and they that's, just freeze. That's hilarious when that happens. Yes. I was one time in front of a <laughs> restaurant and there were some Vietnamese people there and I saw this lady that looked Hispanic. Yes. And all of a sudden she starts speaking in Vietnamese, fluent uh -huh. Vietnamese. Like this was like us, probably she was Vietnamese, but right. she looked Hispanic. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're such a melting pot of cultures and diversities and I long for the day that it will just be based on character yep. and nothing else because I tell you when um, wherever we're out and about my husband my husband is the dog cat child magnum I mean they see him in a grocery store and they'll just go to him and go up oh, and so people cute. always say my god does your husband mind and I go no he loves babies <laughs> And the nice thing is that the babies are, you can't tell. They're just beautiful babies. Oh, yes, I know. Yes. I know. So my girl, Wendy Williams, is back. She is back, Wendy. Yes. How, How you, are you doing? doing? How are you doing, girl? Yes. Aww. We missed you so much. And she missed us. She actually cried on oh, her first show. When was it? Uh, her first show was Monday. Monday. Okay, I'm going to start recording Wendy because I do like Wendy. Yes. She keeps it real. Yes, she does. And um, she she shared a few things. Like she was, um, she went all over the place. She got to hang out with the Kardashians. And so now her and Chris uh, Jenner are buds. Ugh. So she told everybody, she goes, but I'm still going to do my job. And I'm still going to talk about them if they do something in the news. Yes. She says, however, I now have a phone number where I can call Chris and I can verify. Get the real Get scoop, the real not just scoop. what the inquirer says. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. She oh. made a joke because she was on the cover of one of those you know, tabloid magazines in the grocery store. And she's like... I am Hot Topics. And so, you know, <laughs> it was just really, really funny. Oh, great. Um, I think our girl either met someone or while she was on vacation had the opportunity to hang out with someone. Well, it wasn't we, um, when was it? We saw this picture of her online and she was sitting and behind her was a man. Right. Remember with the hands? Right. It's like a male. Right. But they didn't look like they were friends. They were cozying up. He was behind his legs sprawl down she was in front of him right yeah. yeah so we don't know who that is but she said i'm not in love but i am in like heavy like well that's one so, step towards that absolutely and Good for her. she um was also excited because there was some altercations with her son and her ex-husband and 
all of those, the, the, that whole mess has been, you know, smoothed over. And on Tuesday, she had Master P and his son, uh, he used to be called Little Bow Wow, but I think his oh, little, little name Bow? was, oh, was is Romeo. That little pow oh, Romeo. Romeo. That's it, Romeo. Yeah, okay. Romeo. So they were on the little show. Bow. Romeo tries to hit on Wendy. Oh, you know, because he How was old like, is he? He, well, he's in his 20s, but he was like, you know, age is nothing but a number. And then um, Master P was more like, you know, Wendy was like, so, you know, when are you going to take me out? You're going to take me out to dinner? And he says, yeah, he goes, we're going to roll tonight. So he and Wendy and Romeo all went to dinner. Oh, nice. So I can't wait to get home and see what, you know, because she'll okay, talk about now, it today. Okay, now you've got me curious. I'm going to yes. try, and, yes. try and tune in and see yes. that. Yeah. She looked, I mean, like she, she got, like people came at her hard because of the Pride Parade. And remember we talked yeah. about the outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, people, just leave her alone. Yeah. Yeah. She has a new little medical thing going on. Um I can't remember the name of it, but what it is is you get swelling on one side of oh, your body, I what that is. and it, it's um, it's fluid leaks out, and so it causes this swelling. So you notice like one of her legs is is you know skinny leg, and the other, the other one, one is, is more thicker. It's more yeah. thicker. So that's something that she's going to be uh, working on and addressing. Oh, so okay. we'll do some research and maybe I'm going to do share. some research on that because yeah. every time I hear about things like that, yes. some like health issues, I like to like be educated and Absolutely. see what that is. Absolutely. And my sister is a doctor, so I may, may just give her a little call and ask her what that is. Yes. Yeah. You also told me that during this particular time, we should really focus on hydration. So why don't you talk a little bit yeah, about that? Yeah, the sun, every, well, you know, the Silicon Valley has not been as hot as right. it usually is, but it's still hot. Even if we're not in the sun, we need to stay hydrated, people. Everybody needs to hydrate because every day we are being flooded with chemicals, toxins, and that ages us prematurely. And we need to be drinking enough water. I say water is your best beverage, is your best yes. friend. You need to be drinking at least, this is at least half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, drink 50 ounces of water minimum per day how do to you stay do hydrated. How, how, how do you do that? Like me and you, we love water. However, I know there are people out there that when you said that their eyes rolled in the back of their head because... Like my husband, he does not like water. So I always have to find, you know, those little um, pack things that don't have bad chemicals in them where they're just like dried fruit that he can put in to you can flavor do that. the water. Yeah, so instead of that, you could buy like strawberries, blueberries that are in the season. Right. And just put them in your water to infuse it. Right. So it's not as, you it's know, not bland. A flat taste. It's not a flat taste. Or next time what I'm going to do is I'll bring my little sample I was given it's a hydration reminder oh yes yeah, so it reminds you if you have not had a sip of water you put it around your bottle right it will flash I think every 30 minutes to remind now, you that's wonderful yeah that's wonderful because you know I I drink mostly water it's it's really interesting when I go out to places and they're like um would you know would you like a cocktail or tea or soda and I go water please with the lemon I do that and you know they're like eh. and I tell them I said your tip is not based upon what I order so don't worry about it and I'm you do right yeah. by me I do I do right I by do you. water no ice or if it's a kind of in the evening I like hot water and right. lemon Yes, that's what I like. yeah, sometimes I'll do that, I'll, especially if it's cold. I'll say, can I have a little, you know, just a cup of hot water? And then I'll get some lemons and just squeeze lemon. the juice And then in. when I've, I've gone to places and I've even had lemon and honey, they give you packs of honey. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, so you make your own little drink or, you know, um, Dr. Oz always talks about how in the mornings to kick off your day, take some hot water, lemon, um and uh, hot sauce or Tabasco sauce. And if it's not spicy enough for you, add a little cayenne. Cayenne, cayenne yes. is really good. And stir that up. I don't know about the Tabasco. I think cayenne might be. Yeah. yeah. And then don't forget, after you drink that, to chase it down with more water. Yes. Because the lemon in your water is great, but it is acidic. And right. it does affect your teeth, the enamel right. in your teeth. Right, right. You know, um, since we talked a little bit about sun protection the last time, just be aware when you're out, like my girl said, 
you know, seen or not, the sun is there. So just make sure whatever you're doing has the fewest amount of toxins and additives that you can find and enjoy this beautiful weather of ours. Yeah, so the best thing I would say is if you can find it is to get mineral-based sun protection. Yes. Because minerals are very, very good for the skin. Absolutely. And they won't clog your pores and they won't aid you. Absolutely. And my friend here, my girl here, <laughs> she makes her own mineral makeups, Miss yes. Gloria Webb Williams. We'll yes. put all the information down below if you want more information on that. Absolutely. And she has an amazing... And we've mentioned this before, I'm going to mention it again. <laughs> this setting spray called Elixir, you put yeah. on after you have your makeup and you just look glowing, yes. refreshing, radiant, glowing, radiant. And you don't have to reapply. That's what I really yep. love. Yep, I love it. You know, um, one of the things I wanted us to just kind of uh, quickly talk about is Rosetta and I, we are very, very conscious of medication versus alternative healing, alternative options, uh, whether that be supplements, vitamins, um, uh, like chiropractic care versus going to a um, traditional doctor or acupuncture, um, many different avenues. And for me, I am always looking for alternatives because my mom is at the delicate age now where Every time she gets a hangnail, it's a new pill, <laughs> you know? And I was watching um, uh, over the weekend, we were watching some um, um, Comic Central and there was a comedian, uh, his name is Cat Williams, no relative, just that's his name. And he had me laughing so hard. And at the same time, I thought, this is not funny. So he was talking about how back in the day when they would talk about medication or a new pill, they would say, you know, um, and I'm just going to make up a name. Glitter green is great. It gives you all the essential greens that you need. And then they would say the side effects are. They do that all the okay. time on TV. Yeah. He said now, and it's true. He goes now they're brave. They know they're killing you, but we are so you know, people just turn off or they change the channel. He said, so now they'll say, glitter green. It's good for you. It gives you all your greens. However, it'll give you kidney failure. Your eyes will fall out your head. You know, you you won't be able to feel your fingers. You know, I mean. <laughs> they it, cause blindness. <laughs> yes. And they they do. They And I, I really started paying attention, and you should too, to what they say right after they talk about what this new medication is. Yeah, I always say, what can we do to help ourselves as prevention? So my motto is always prevention is always better than intervention. And this is great that Gloria brought this up because we want to talk about more of this in our following and weeks to come. Yes. And just like, you know, touch on it yes. lightly and yes. uh, what your opinions are. And if you have any comments or feedback on that, please post it below. Absolutely. Below this video, because we'd love to hear. And if you want us to discuss anything, we would be, you know, we would love to do that. Yes. Both of our families have um, issues with diabetes. And you will notice I very seldomly say that word because it starts out with die, D-I-E. And I believe and know in my heart from personal experience the diet and exercise can help with many different avenues. So please comment below. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what some of your challenges are. And then we will share information that has been shared with us. Uh, Rosetta has a, an army of um, you know knowledgeable individuals behind her. And she's never one to ram things down your throat. She knows a lot of information. I, through personal experience with family members, I have learned more about supplements and medications. You know, like I was saying, my mom, they will give her a pill on Monday, give her another pill on Wednesday. Those pills don't work together, but they don't check that out. So you have to be your own advocate. And if you're not well enough to be your own advocate, you need someone to go with you to be your advocate because you have to, you have to have someone. Yeah. Yep. So we will continue this conversation yeah. because we're both very passionate about it. And as always, 
thank you for tuning in, everyone. We greatly appreciate that. Absolutely. And remember to always keep, keep smiling. smiling. All right. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Take care till next time. Don't forget time. to hit that button. Oh, below. yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Bye bye. Bye.